Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play episode. I am your host Fro, and today we are on episode 63 of the Let's Play series. Now, in between episodes, I've been spending some time collecting a lot of grass. And we got we got quite a lot of it. Problem is, is well, do you remember that great netherite spade we made last episode? Oh, what a beauty it was. Oh, it was unbreaking, it had silk touch. Netherite, never been used, mending. Oh, it was fantastic. It's going to last a while. It's gone. Don't worry about it anymore. It's gone. <laughs> I accidentally broke it. Speaking of accidentally breaking things, here we go. Got to repair this. When I was collecting that grass also, um, I came across an illager patrol. And so I killed them and I got the bad omen effect. And I didn't think it would happen, but when I got home here, a raid actually started. So let's check out how that fight went. All right, so I guess we're doing our first raid of the world. We gotta take care of these guys. Honestly, not a big deal. Um, all of our villagers are buried underground. They're all protected. Nice, safe, and sound over there. So I'm not too concerned about this. It's, if anything, it's just kind of for fun now. Um, pretty crazy how you guys are attacking me on my own private island, though. A little bit of a surprise. Here we go for round two. Looks like they spawned over here for the most part. You guys have any idea where you're going? Let's see, how strong are you? Are you going to attack me? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so he does... Oh, they, they do a little bit of damage. These are the Johnnies. They're a little stronger. Not as strong as the Butcher, though. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh, they, they're over here. Okay, we got to take down that Ravager. He's going to destroy all my... My foliage. Foliage? Oh. He's pretty easy. He didn't even retaliate or anything. Alright, yeah, we're we're doing pretty well so far. Nothing nothing too bad. These guys got nothing on us. I mean we are in our overpowered gear, so I'm not too worried. Oh, here we go. Here's a... Uh, wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, we got Vindicators. Those guys are actually really tough. Okay. So let's see how strong this guy is. Really? That's it? You're not nearly as I mean, I do have resistance too. I take care of this guy. Oh, these guys are honestly so tough. Where are these other, other uh, raiders here taking us down? We got a witch. Had a witch. Where's the other two? Interesting. Where are you? Are you in my bedroom? Must be in my bedroom. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, one of them's got a Vindicator on him. Oh, okay. I'm strong, but I'm not quite strong enough to take down two of them at a time, I guess. Ah! Run away, run away. Oh, he's destroying my bushes. Okay. Ah! These guys are actually a little bit tough. Gotta get our regeneration going. Good thing they're a one-hit kill. <laughs> Those would be in a little bit more danger here. Yeah, so he like came through and did some unwanted gardening for us. Thanks, I guess. Another mob head. Okay, where are the rest of you in my bedroom? Looks like it. Oh, there's a lot of them down here. Oh, okay. We gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Doesn't look like they can chase us in the water too much. Uh, the rest of you in here still? You are. You don't belong. Anyone over here? Nope. Okay. Gotta run, gotta run. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah. I'm trying not to use this totem because this is like a, a rock star totem. Oh my gosh, look at how strong it is. Five armor, five health. 
It's the one of the better totems I have. Oh, here we go. Here's the last guy. Oh gosh, they are so strong. Let's take down this last guy here. Is that it? Yay, we did it! Hero of the village! Woohoo! So now we got the, what is it, the hero of the village effect. We only got about 20 minutes left of it. Um, but we don't really have anything prepared. We have this guy who doesn't have a profession. We got this guy over here. So what, everything's just cheaper now? Yeah. Eh, you know, we have got quite a lot of uh, leather we could trade you. Mm, what could we buy with that? I wish we could buy the scoots. I wish we didn't have to sell them. I guess we could buy saddles. We don't really need them, but we could buy them. Uh, we could do this, buy some more golden carrots. Always need more of those. Thank you very much. Buy some of those, I guess, too. Uh, we could buy a cake, sure. Buy some cookies, why not? Apples, oh, we should get a lot of apples. Pumpkin pie, sure, let's do it. And then you won't even sell me, I mean, I guess that's not, that's a pretty good discount. We can make quite a lot of money. Actually, we do have a lot of potatoes, don't we? Oh, look at this. We got a third oxidized copper. That's cool. So I do know we have, or at least we used to have, yeah, quite a few potatoes we can sell to this guy here. Make a little bit of a profit on this adventure. Thank you very much. All right, let's turn this other guy into a cartographer with the end goal of getting the globe pattern for the banners. And I also think he will trade banners to us as well. So let's see, uh, you can buy a map or you can sell paper. Okay, and 12 paper, that's not a bad deal. Buy as much as you can, dude, we got a lot. Yeah, we gotta let him upgrade. And now what do you have for us? Compass, ooh, ocean explorer map. You can sell glass panes for him. This is honestly not a bad deal either, actually. His maps are a little bit tedious to make. Here you go. Okay. Um, okay, now he's going to be journeyman. Now he's going to be up to expert. Awesome. So he sells us banners. That's a good deal. Uh, although I wish they were just the plain white ones. That's what I thought they would be. And now what are we at? Being an upgrade. Awesome. There we go. We got the glow pattern. Cool, cool. Uh, let's just get a couple of those. I don't think we have any of those yet either. All right, I was messing around with banners the other day and I don't, I didn't see any. Yeah. So let's see, what does that look like? We go, I guess we need to get dye, don't we? Over here, throw in a banner in the loom with a glow pattern and a dye. Oh yeah, I like that. Cool. And I just love Minecraft so much. You know, it makes it so easy to actually record an episode when things like that happen. Because now I don't even have to think about what to do this episode. Right, we had the raid fight and now we have to put a monument to dedicate it, you know, to dedicate for it, to dedicate it for it, <laughs> to dedicate a monument for the the raid because that was our first raid ever. Um, I did I did kind of want to show this off before we work on that though. Uh, we worked on this path last episode, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's you know it's nothing special or anything, but it's just it's really fun to see our base continually expand and grow. Um, especially this area, I think it's. It's coming together. We got a new building here. That building is relatively new. And then this thing is definitely new for you guys. I, I worked on this immediately after last episode. And it's definitely a work in progress. But you know, I'd say it's probably like maybe 20% done. Just kind of like the outside skin is. And I love it already. Holy cannoli. I just wanted to show you guys it a little bit. So you could give me some feedback on like the block choices and the coloring and and maybe the design but the overall goal with this one was we're gonna have like a path lead up to where we're going now and it's gonna go straight on in here and on the inside here we're gonna have a farm of some sort either like a bee farm or a stalagmite farm um, somehow like some kind of automated system and then just past it over here is gonna be where we put our armor to rest the stuff that we you know the gear we had forever and ever we had it for like 30 or 40 episodes um, we're going to leave it right over here for its final resting place. I think it's a nice area. And that way, since we have a farm here, it'll give us reason to come visit this area more often. 
So it's kind of like a two birds, one stone situation. Um, but yeah, give me give me feedback on that building and what you guys think of it. It's definitely a work in progress. Now for the monument for the raid, I think we can keep it pretty simple. I, I just got a couple uh, blocks together. We got the salt and polished blackstone. And it's just going to build something like, I guess, I don't know. How do we want to do this? If we build it here, I was thinking just building like a wall and then putting these heads on there and the banners. We put it there. Is it visible from down here? Yeah, if we raise it enough, it would be. So let's raise it. Let's maybe make it four high. Let's do this. We'll make it four high, and then on the bottom, we'll make it blackstone. That would look good, I think. Yeah, and then a blackstone layer on top as well. We'll do something like this. Tell you what. We'll get rid of that, and we'll make this three wide. And then it arches in on one block each. I think that'll look really good. We'll make these exactly one tall with slabs on top. And then we'll make these three tall with slabs on top as well. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fantastic or extraordinary. And then we'll just plop some of these heads on there. We'll put the banner, well, one ominous banner on each side. And then we'll put the orange one in the middle. That would look kind of cool because we got that as a prize from this as well. It is getting dark out, so I apologize for the poor timing. I do usually try to sleep the night away for you guys. And then we have one of each head. Right? We have a pillager. We have a vindicator. We have an evoker. We have a ravengers. So how does that look? I like it. I think it looks really good. And then just to make it polished off a little bit, let's just turn this into basalt. Um, but we want that top texture, I'm thinking. Yeah, something like that. We can make this a little path, too, I guess, coming up. That make makes sense a little bit, I guess. And somehow it kind of loops around this way, I guess. Oh, it looks better when it's mixed and matched like that, actually. Let's do that. Actually, make this one go like that. Yeah, I, I think that's decent enough. It doesn't need to be, like, perfect by any standard or, or any means here. Uh, the only thing we do need, though, for sure, is probably lighting. We're just going to go with the classic white candles or plain candles look. I think it's decent enough. Something as simple as, like, this is probably fine. Can we put candles here? We can. I like that. Okay. Get those lit and see how this looks. Look a little weird from this side. Ah, it does a look a, it looks a little weird from here. Um, but this whole mountain, like where we're standing, is gonna get built up, right? I think I even said it right here. Higher overlook building, yeah. So that'll be covered and kind of like built in, but we could always hide it with trees as well. Maybe like a tree here and a tree there would look good. Um, but yeah, there's our little monument. Next thing we should probably do is put a sign down to get it marked first raid episode 63 awesome I like that I don't know if you noticed it but we did some building on camera together I'm not gonna say it was good but it was fun at the very least but yeah let's get back to this monument behind us here I'm not gonna work on it this episode I just have I have like creators creativity block when it comes to it right now I don't I just don't know how to wrap my head around how I want it to look yet. And I'm really, really going to be reaching out for you guys to support me on that a little bit. So tell me, uh, scale of 1 to 10. 10 is like, this is this is amazing. I love it. And 1 is like, oh, bro, that was a big mistake. Remove it. Try again. Tell me what you guys think. I will say uh, I really like the look of it from kind of like back here a little bit more. Um, We have... That turquoise building, the potion brewing building, and the roots farm are both kind of going the same direction. Right? They're both kind of like going this way, uh, north to south in the world. Uh, and sometimes I'm sure I'll build a building that's going east east to west as well. Um, but what's cool about that monument is that it's diagonal. So it kind of breaks up the skyline a little bit. Plus it's on top of the hill, so it's more prominent. Um, so that building is definitely like a headliner of our world. So we definitely want it to look nice. Right? Like it's definitely a keystone. It, it's going to catch your eye every single time. And 
be one of the cornerstones of this part of the world. So yeah, I really want that building to, to look good. So <laughs> please help me out a little bit. I'm going to collect some leaves now. We're almost, we're actually basically out of our leaf supply. I used most of them up on the path last episode. Oop. Uh, but here's a view that I almost never show off. It's across the bay a little bit. Um, and I've been slowly expanding our grass that direction too. But the red building there is definitely going to be something we redo uh, in the near future here. I'm thinking it's been on my to-do list forever. That's just something, that's a problem I've been having with Minecraft recently. <laughs> I've been having too many things I want to get done. Not enough time um, because I've been trying to make my episodes a little bit shorter as well. And it's not just shorter episodes I'm trying to do either. I'm also trying to make it so that it's less content per an episode and more like gameplay, I guess would be a good way to describe it. Right, so like this episode is going to consist of just the raid fight, building the monument, and that's basically it with just like a little bit of a progress update on our monument. So not a whole lot done in the episode itself, but I, I feel like... Um, you know, my previous episodes, I've been rewatching them. I felt like sometimes they were a little bit, um, dis, like discontinuous. They felt like they were disjointed. That'd be the word. Yeah. Disjointed. Um, in the sense that like I would do like three or four things in an episode, but it never really made sense. So I'm trying to be a little bit more continuous and more jointed together, <laughs> uh, with the episodes, um, both like in, an, in the episode itself, but also like across a couple of episodes. So I'm trying to start a project and finish it um, within either a single episode or if I don't, then finish it within the coming episodes and, and keep talking about it until I do. Because others, I feel like you guys and myself forget about them and then months and months go by and it's like, oh yeah, we got, you know, we got two dozen half finished projects we should work on. Anyways, this whole area really is coming together. Man, I'm just loving it. And to think, like, <laughs> in the beginning of the summer, we had just, like, this path here. And now we have buildings. Now we have more decorations. We're going to have more trees in a second here. I'm going to go around and build some more. So it looks like we need to build a tree here. Uh, we had one there planned, another one here, and then two more for today's episode. One over here as well. And here. Quick little update for you guys. I got... These first two done, this one's a little bit shorter, and this one's like super tall, especially when you look at it from this angle. I kind of feel like maybe we should extend it that direction a little bit, but I, I think it's fine for now. I guess, yeah, we do have that log sticking out, um, so maybe we will extend it. I'm working on this one right now, and I think it would be really cool if we had, had it so that like the canopy covered this middle area here, this intersection. Um, and then same for this one. Yeah, kind of like this. You know, so like when you're standing here, you feel enclosed a little bit. And it's a little bit of a bigger tree too. And I think all three of them look pretty good together. But the real question is, how do all four look together? Ah, yes. I'd say pretty good. To be honest, I ran out of leaves. So this one maybe could use a little bit more leaves to cover up. But I will leave it for now. And the important thing is we got those two done so that the raid monument is covered up a little bit. By the way, this is how it looks from down here. Definitely looks awesome. I really like it. It's just a little monument too, but adds so much to this part of the world. First raid, episode 63. And it was accidental too. We'll have to do a on purpose one sometime, like build up a village and actually have to defend it. And over here, I was going to build a fifth tree. But I decided, because we're out of leaves, and because we already have so many trees over there, maybe some bushes would be nice so that we can still get some good views of that building and also the root building as well. And so otherwise the tree might cover it up. But yeah, we're going to end the episode here. I think we got quite a lot done and uh, quite a lot of rambling done too. So thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. You guys have been really kind. And I will see you in the next one. See ya. Bye bye.